This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. So Ron finishes up in 2004 and, uh, the storyline is going to allow the whole John Bradshaw Layfield gimmick to jump off. Did Ron have any issue with, uh, helping his old pal Bradshaw on the way out? Not at all. Not at all. I think Ron, uh, would have, and still would do anything for John Layfield. The APA lose a tag match on March 18th on SmackDown to Rikishi and Scotty too hottie and Paul Heyman. Uh, SmackDown general manager, of course, uh, says the APA isn't fired, but Farouk was, and Bradshaw's heel turn starts. And of course we eventually find out that's JBL. Um, Bradshaw never did a physical attack on Farouk. I guess maybe that's something that I don't know. The guys weren't comfortable with, but I don't think that he ran into a, an agent role after this. Unless I'm wrong. Did he? Did no, he, he even... didn't because he didn't, he didn't want to, uh, I don't know why, but Ron didn't want to be a producer, but he is constantly back on TV. He would show up and just do various appearances where something would happen. They pan the camera and we get a tight shot of Ron with a pause. And then damn, it's amazing how effective that became. And it really became uh, something that became a WWE staple. Even when his in ring stuff was done, he did a bunch of various appearances, including being Teddy long's best man for his wedding on SmackDown. And I don't know. What can you tell us? Why was Ron brought back over and over and over just that well beloved in the office? Yes. And there would be situations where it would make sense to, to bring Ron back when you're explaining something. And the only punctuation you have for it is. And it's like, oh God, that's, you know, you you come up and you're trying to put a button on something and, and and somebody says, damn, it's like, that's it. Call Ron. And, uh, it worked and it was a beloved character that'll go on forever. So, uh, he goes in the hall of fame 2012, obviously well deserving of all the accolades he received there. Um, what are your favorite moments of Ron, the man you got to spend quite a bit of time with Ron over the years. There, there are a lot. And the weekend that John Layfield got married for the second time and the last time, uh, my wife and I got to spend the entire weekend with Ron and just, it was in Key West think in January or February, something like that, but it was hotter than hell. And we're sitting out at the bar at the, there were two, two hotels, there are two Marriott's there. And we were at one, but like everybody was there and stuff. And they told us there was another quieter, uh, bar at the other hotel. And I'm sitting there now I'm in, my usual attire, my shorts and flip flops. And my wife is in a swimsuit or whatever. And Ron is in black jeans, black cowboy boots in a black skin tight shirt. He's hot as fuck sweating his ass off. But you know what? If anybody could pull it off, he did. Oh, of and course. We went and we sat, <laughs> we sat, um, at the bar on the beach on the quiet beach and just, we had a blast that, that whole weekend just, uh, never stopped laughing just the, the entire time. And I think Ron Simmons probably gave the greatest, uh, best man speech I'd ever heard had everybody in tears. And it was one of those where, uh, look, make no mistake about it. Layfield married up. Oh, of big course. time Everybody way knows out of his league. And we were the wrestling people to, you know, to that group of, of, uh, of legit business social people. register people. Yes. Okay. And when Ron Simmons took the microphone and did his, I, they were all crying because it was just so emotional and just so fucking great. Um, emotional Ron, or funny or both. All the above. Okay. He had, he had his points making everybody laugh their ass off. Then he had everybody crying, emotional, um, 
absolutely tremendous. And when you're sitting there, it was, I think at our table at the time, it was, uh, taker, his wife, Eddie and Vicky, me and my wife, uh, Bubba and Devon were there. Um, we just had an eclectic group that was having a blast and it, it was just so fun. But Ron's one of those guys, man, that, that commands respect, as I said before, and just does such an amazing job in everything he does. Uh, fun moments with him. What's your favorite Farouk match? Wow. I, I tell you, you this is going to sound crazy, but I don't really wasn't a match, but it was the debut when where he hurt. I'm Ed. I'm Ed. Because it was, it was frenetic. Yeah. And he made an impact. He came in and it was like, okay, I mean, intentional or not, that wasn't the intention that we wanted out of it from Ahmed getting hurt. But man, Ron came in and some guys, you know, coming in for the first time are going to be a little tentative. Ron was like, I'm going out to get over. And he did. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.